Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would show you guys like my go-to filming makeup or like photo ready makeup. So this is my makeup that I do when I actually want to look nice when I film a video or when I take pictures for my Instagram. Um, I did just upload a how I take my pictures from my Instagram, so if you guys haven't seen that already, go check it out. But this is like the makeup that I'm going to be doing. I don't have like a self tan on either, so I was kind of tan in that, so I did use a different color foundation. But yeah, we're here now. So um, I'm just actually going to be starting off with this mad hippie advanced skincare my sister left this behind when she moved and it's supposed to really help dry skin so here i am i have like insanely dry skin so it's just a light little serum not sure how much you're supposed to be putting on there i guess i'll just do it until i feel like you know it looks nice um i'm using all natural lighting except for the light in my room is on, so let me know what you guys think. In the viewfinder, it looks pretty good. Because I usually use like two box lights, a ring light, and now I'm just using natural lighting. And it's super cloudy out and it's raining. It's been raining for the past two days. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and then finally get warm, so I'm super excited. Um, I think that's pretty much it for what I'm going to be doing to prep my skin. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Superstay Foundation. You guys know if you watch any of my makeup videos, I use this all the time. This is in 110 Porcelain. My dog Hank is just pissing. So this might be a little light because I'm usually, no, I can't say I'm usually, but I tend to go for 118. And it's like, it's a better undertone for me. It's more of like a neutral, warm not warm but like yellowy undertone um so this might be a little bit too light but i'm just gonna like warm it up with a bronzer so it's not that big of a deal i like to take my real technique sponge and i did kind of wash it before this i don't just like yeah i dampen it but i always just wash it to begin with so next i'm gonna conceal i don't cream contour anything i just conceal and then powder contour kind of so i'm going to be taking my Too faced born this way concealer in swan and then i'm going to be going in with uh, this is super random it was sent to me but this is from rude cosmetics it's called it's just their concealer in light it's pretty much like a white um but it's really liquidy and watery so it kind of this one can be a little drying for me so i just go over it with this one just a little bit because this is really light but so I use about that much underneath my eyes and then just with this it's honestly like the same color just maybe like one shade lighter and then I'll just blend that in again with the same sponge and I think it just gives me like a really pretty like highlighted look I guess and I also drag this up on my eye because I don't do like any eyeshadow i maybe put a little bit of bronzer on my lid to give it a little bit of dimension. Like I said, I do put the concealer right there because it kind of helps it like blend out and just look a little bit more chiseled. So now that I concealed everywhere, I'm going to be baking underneath my eyes, on my chin, and my forehead with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05. This one is pretty light. Um, but that's why I just use it underneath my eyes and everywhere I concealed. I do need to get a new one. Actually, in the summer, I use the 10, which is more of like a banana color, honestly. It's a big difference between 05 and 10, but... And I do just take a different sponge, because I don't like having like a wet sponge with it. I don't know, maybe it actually is better for it, but... I always bake underneath my eyes, just because I feel like... If I don't, I immediately get oily, especially like right on my cheeks and by my nose. So no matter what, even if I'm super dry, I will always bake. But then I just like use a crap ton of setting spray. I'm almost out, so I need to go get some today, but I'm getting ready really early right now. It's like I've been up since around 6.30, but it's I think almost 8 now, but... Okay, so since I baked, I realized I played that back and this is not my angle. Like, my nose looks so long. My forehead looks massive. I do have a big forehead, but it does look massive. My camera keeps shutting off and I do not know why and it's freaking pissing me off. But I'm going to be taking, I got this in my BoxyCharm box actually for this month. I am like an affiliate with them. Um, 
but I really don't use the link or anything. Um, this is the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette, and I actually really liked this contour color. So I'm gonna be going in with that one, just with a very light hand, because it is super pigmented. So I use that on my forehead and my cheekbones, and then I actually do use that color like on my eye as well, just to give me a little bit of definition for my eyelid. Just make it a little bit deeper. I like to put it where I want it and then I will uh, blend it out because right now it looks pretty muddy. But for my cheekbones, I always go like this high. So my cheek, you can tell my jawline is right here. Not my jawline, my cheekbone like right here is where I probably should put it. I tend to put it like right here like a blush because then it makes it look really, really lifted because I already have pretty, not high, well I do have high cheekbones but they're not like really in your face but I feel like this helps it. <laughs> if you're going for that look. And then I also put bronzer a little bit on my nose, just kind of anywhere to make it look a little bit more like sun-kissed and natural, I guess. So this is kind of with contour, kind of crappy job, and then without. That's like different to me, okay? <laughs> like I said in the beginning, I'm pretty much out of this, but this is my favorite setting spray. I might go get some today, but this is the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Fixing Spray. And that's honestly probably why I'm out so quick, because I literally spray it 30 times. But I absolutely love this, because especially in the winter, when my face is really dry, it tends to get a little patchy when I'm doing my makeup, and then as soon as I spray it with this, it finally just like melts together and then I also go back in with my sponge super lightly and just kind of tap over everything. This makes it look way more like skin-like and realistic even though obviously it doesn't look like realistic that my face is this flawless and perfect but <laughs> and contoured naturally. I just think it really helps melt the foundations and powders together. So as I let that just kind of sit there and soak up into my skin, all oh, this itches. Um, I'm just gonna do my brows and for my brows. I haven't been filling them in if you guys can tell These are my actual brows. This is so fucking itchy um, Anyway, I literally plucked my brows like crazy when I was younger and I also like a month or two ago I cut off the entire tail of this brow For reasons, I'm not sure but I haven't been filling them in. I've just been using this NYX professional makeup tinted brow mascara and it does the trick because I've been going for more of like a bushy natural brow recently and yeah I've just been going with like more of my natural shape this is in like the lightest one you can get it's in blonde yeah it's more of like a taupey color but it works I was gonna get the dark one but I'm glad I didn't because you can literally just layer this on there and it looks really good. And it definitely does help for a gel, so it does keep them in place. I've had some gels that literally like don't do anything. So this is before, or yeah, this is before. This is after, this is before. Just a little difference, a little darker, a little bit more tamed. So I really appreciate this product. If you can't tell, I'm wearing my extensions and um, yeah, I don't know how to blend them. They look like trash, so they're in like a braid, but I'll show you guys at the end of this video. It's embarrassing, but I'll show you anyway. So I'm going back in with this Cover FX, I think it's, what is it called? Perfector Face Palette. It's also in light medium. I didn't, I don't think I said the shade to begin with. Um, but these are the highlighting colors. This is actually called a brightener, the one in the middle, but I use it as a highlighter. I don't know what a brightener is, um, but I'm just going to put that on the tip of my nose bridge of my nose and a lot on my cupid's bow. I love that look. I don't know, you do what you want, but I know a lot of people aren't wearing highlighter anymore. And I just like it, especially in the summer, cause it gives you more of just that natural shine. I'm gonna really lightly go in with it right here, but then I like to go back in with my contouring brush and just literally go over it and blend it out. Cause I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it to be Subtle but noticeable at the same time. So I guess yeah subtle is the word. I went in with this dark one a couple, Oh A couple days. What was that? that I, oh, it's on the viewfinder Okay <laughs> um, But anyway, I went in with that dark one a couple days ago and I was just like, oh my god Like it was a solid line on my face. It was embarrassing and then like I said I'm gonna be using that contour color from the same palette 
and just putting that in my crease just to darken her up a little bit and give her some because I don't want to ever like I do obviously like I never always wear I don't always wear makeup but I like to at least have it look like I did something for my eyes not just kind of like forgot about them so I always just add like a pretty contour color I always think it looks a little bit nicer and well like put together honestly I can't talk obviously I don't know what I'm saying I'm just taking a BH Cosmetics number 5 brush and blending it in so this is what it looks like after before <laughs> and you can just layer on as much as you want as little as you want sometimes i'll go underneath just to give it more of like a smoked out goddessy look i like contour colors especially for my eyes i have like blue green eyes i honestly never know i saw a tweet it was like making fun of people with blue eyes because it's like yeah it was like nobody and they say like nothing and then people with blue eyes yeah my eyes change colors like depending on what i wear blah 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 like but it's kind of true. Hold on, I'm going to zoom you guys in. So I have like green, light blue. It's all different in the sun, honestly. But it looks, way, like I said, it does look way different in the sun and depending what I'm wearing. Especially like if I'm wearing a green top. They tend to like pop out more as green. But with blue, I don't really see that. Honestly, because it, the color you're wearing just reflects off your eyes. But anyway... So I'm pretty much done with the face. My face wasn't too dramatic or anything. I didn't do anything too crazy. It's not even that full coverage. Like you can still kind of see like my freckles and zits. Um, but with that being said, I like to do like a dramatic lash just because I think that looks pretty. But for mascara, I'm going in with this It Superhero Mascara. And I do not have any lashes anymore. I used to have long, beautiful lashes. Till I started wearing false lashes and ripping all my lashes out. But this like actually makes my lashes show up. I do wear like different types of mascara and I never get this like good of, I don't know, like they just look amazing. I don't know the word. <laughs> results, that's the word. I never get this good of results. Oh, I mean, I could just wear it. No, I won't. I would never do that. Um, I'm wearing, I'm going to be wearing um, some fake lashes I got from AliExpress. They were $2.50. And yeah, they honestly are amazing. They only last for like three times though. But. So this is what they look like. Honestly, they're pretty nice. And I definitely wouldn't wear these like all the time as dramatic, like I said, photo ready. I do have a photo shoot coming up next week. And I'm honestly probably gonna wear something like Ardell Wispies or something, you know? Looks like you have lashes, but you know, like, you know, like they're fake lashes, but they aren't like too in your face like these ones. So, with lashes, without. I've been doing before and afters for this entire video, and I love it. And the thick band is also pretty nice to put on. It's a lot easier than like the wispies that I was talking about. So, after my lashes are on, all we have left to do is just lips. And I've been taking this NYX Suede Liner in London. This one is actually pretty cute. I like the suede versions better um, just because it's easier to apply. I like this one. It is a little dark for me right now. I wore it when I had a tan. And honestly, it's like a mixture of like a warm nude with a little bit of orange. But anyway, this is my finished look so i hope you guys did enjoy this um it has been kind of requested on some of my instagram pictures just asking me what type of makeup i use and everything so this is it like you guys can see i don't wear like bottom mascara or anything on the daily i feel like that makes my eyes look kind of saggy i don't know <laughs> um, but if you guys did enjoy this don't forget to stick around and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this also don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see next in the videos i am filming some like hauls today and i think a q a um i asked you guys on instagram a bunch of questions so i screenshotted all those from a couple days ago but i have yet to film it so here i am Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in my next video.